today is April 21st and it's like 7.50 in the morning right now, but I have a homecoming this morning. The Phil C, I believe it is, gets home today and they've been gone for a long time. I'll ask my wife um, how long they've been gone because I'm not positive. I want to say like eight months, maybe nine months. I'll double check with her and ask her, but um, I'm pulled over because I had to get my camera to do a shot because when you first drive into base, um, every time a ship is coming home, they do like this heart on the field and it says like, welcome home, Phil C or New York, whichever ship is coming home. And it's so cute, but it's like so hard to get a picture because you can't like park near it or anything like that. So every time I come, I kind of just drive by it very slowly because it's at a turn. So I have to stop at the turn that it's literally on. So I kind of quickly like just snap a photo of it just so the family can have it. Um, but I love that they do that. And hopefully I can get one really quick as I drive by. Okay. So if you didn't know, I'm a photographer and right now with Mario being in the Navy. Okay, hold on you guys, cause there is. I'm gonna try to get it. Oh man, I don't know if I got it. Ah, I didn't. The light was green so I couldn't stop. Uh, Sorry guys, this angle was really bad, but um, it's all hard to get it after because they take it down so fast. So uh, I'm gonna try and see, hopefully they still have it after the homecoming, but they normally take it down like right away. I don't know why, like they should leave it all day long. As I was saying, uh, with Mario being stationed here right now, I got the opportunity to photograph homecomings and I think that's one of like my favorite things to do. I want to say, sorry, I honestly want to say probably even more than weddings. Like with homecomings, there's so much like emotion and like running through you all within just like in less than an hour. Sometimes they take like a lot longer. Oh gosh, I went to the wrong parking area. Gosh dang it, I have to turn around. Gosh dang it, there's a roadblock. <laughs> I need to turn around again. Okay. Oh, this is so embarrassing, but they should put bigger signs, unless they did. Well, okay, so when it's your homecoming, like it's your husband coming home they have a meeting and you know they tell you which strange i didn't go to a meeting when mario was coming home but anyways we leave june 25th which is in like two months i don't know if there's any ships coming home within those two months but um this might be my last homecoming photographing um here in Florida, which is so sad because, uh oh, what? Oh, uh, uh -uh. I just got in trouble. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys, this is so embarrassing. I just got honked at to stop, and it's because, um, the oh, colors is. On, but I can't hear it because when you're driving you can't hear it and this car in front of me I was like turning and um, He was like honking at me with his hand out his window telling me to stop and Luckily it like clicked. It's eight exactly 8 a.m. And that's when they do colors. So literally Everyone needs to stop and uh, they do like the salute to the flag um, but I'm not in the Navy. So like one, I forget. Two, you can't hear it when you're in your car. But I guess if you're more aware, like around at eight o'clock, you should know, like be aware that it's coming. So now I'm just waiting in the middle of the parking lot. 
until they stop. And it takes a while, especially if there's another ship parked here from another country. They also do their like national salute colors thing. I don't know what you call it. It's called colors, but I don't know if it, you know. Anyways, so this is my last homecoming, which is really sad. There's a military base in Kansas, like an hour away from where we live. I believe it's in army base no wait yeah it's gotta be an army base okay i can drive now good morning yeah uh, so you can this is the only entrance you can come in here you can park anywhere okay. um if you have to use the restroom it is closest if you go to the next of the gym it's preferred that you go with your car or with your person okay um you can again park anywhere but stay at or in your car okay Oh, thank you. Okay, so I'm here. This is very strange. Normally, they're like up on the gate, and you can see the ship pull in. Um, but they're like closed up. This is what sucks for all the families who have a homecoming during COVID is that you can't go up to the pier where they literally park the ship and you're literally like right there which is how luckily how mine was or the one with Mar Mario's homecoming but um this sucks so bad because now the families have to you know like stay in their car and their experience especially if it's their ex first experience a lot of the families you know obviously it's sort of like fifth sixth homecoming which doesn't make it any less special but They've, they have experienced the normal of what a homecoming is like. Um, so lucky for them, but if it's your first homecoming and it's a COVID homecoming, like that really sucks. You just don't get to experience the whole thing. Um, this thing where it's called the first kiss. And so they do a raffle for whoever will get it. And um, if you your ticket gets drawn you get to be the first one to walk off the ship and kiss your wife or husband you know like in front of everyone before anyone can get off the ship um me and mario were so lucky enough our first and only homecoming he ended up getting the first kiss it was such a good experience good moment you know those are the moments you love um in the navy even though you sometimes you just hate the navy so much but but no we're so thankful um i'm going to text my wife and let her know that i'm here although we were supposed to meet here at 8 30 but i got here early it's eight o'clock not a lot of people are here early although they're supposed to pull in around like 9 30 which isn't like an hour okay so my wife is almost here um i pretty much just wait and we kind of just wait until the ship gets here um so there's this like parking like this park right up next to the water where they will drive pass through so the plan is to go and get a few shots there um, as they're passing by, you know, and wait for them. I swear, the New York homecoming I did, I was there, like, I was there for almost four to five hours, especially I had two wives, so I was sitting there for almost five hours from the minute I got there, watching them pull in. Um, waiting for the husbands to come down and then after I did one husband then we had to wait for the other husband to get off which he didn't end up getting off to almost an hour after the first one it was such a long day that I was not prepared for but this is the parking lot area you see everyone just chilling at their cars that's kind of what you have to do and then you can see all the boats and stuff but the ship we're waiting for is supposed to pull up right here, close to where that ship is, if you can kind of see it. Okay, so they're gonna hop in my car and we're gonna drive to 
those rocks areas but um we're gonna get in my car and i told him let me clean the car up a little bit because it is trash Oh my gosh okay i just got back into the car it is hot outside here is that sign i'm trying to show you guys there's that sign that has the welcome home i wasn't able to get video of me um getting their first hug and stuff like that so i'll just enter some pictures um so you guys can see their first hug and stuff like that but other than that that's pretty much how it goes as the ship comes in you know we got to see them pull in and it was i think it was really fun just because they're so close so you can see them and they can see you waving and all that stuff and a lot of them make signs but the ship just took forever like well i guess it wasn't that bad that was 9 30 10 30, that was two hours so that was not bad at all for as long as it seemed that they were taking they really didn't take that long because the other one was worse the one i was there for like almost five hours but that was it that was i think my last homecoming um hopefully i get booked for one more i think there's one of the ship coming next month in may if not, the one after that comes in July, but we'll be gone by then, so this might have been my last one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See a little bit of what homecomings look like. Other than that, I'll see you guys on my next video.